Today is a day that has been a long time in the making. We got uh, Black Beauty all geared up, ready to go. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna drive this thing all the way back to Nebraska today. So I'm gonna do a couple things on this trip. One, I have warned a couple of my friends I could be coming through their town from Fargo, North Dakota to around the Columbus, Nebraska area. So I've got a couple backup plans in case something were to go wrong, um, which is mostly, hey, the truck died to come get me. As most of you know, I've been restoring my dad's old 81 Chevy K10 Scottsdale version for several years now. The thing is, he's only seen it in videos. It's never been back to Nebraska. It's never been to the farm. It's never taken the couple hundred mile trip because everybody said I would be crazy to do that. Well, So this is a little bit of a payoff video. I've been doing the whole Not A Mechanic series and I feel like there's gotta be a payoff other than just me continuing to work on this truck over and over again. So this kind of will end that series and then I'll do something else with this YouTube channel, probably with this truck. But I think people are bored with watching me tinker on an old truck that probably should have never been tinkered on in the first place, but hey, now it's running and here we are. You're on this channel watching me don't go. Okay, he didn't. Four-way stops, they're tricky for some people. So here we are about ready to embark on this trip with Black Beauty. Now, I know a lot of people probably think I'm an idiot for doing this, but here's the thing. I've seen Derek from Vice Grip Garage take a truck in worse shape than this all the way from like Tennessee uh, and ended up in Arizona, so. I have faith. We're gonna do a little study on this road trip. Gonna run premium in it for the first tank. Then we're gonna put some of this stuff in. I've seen people run this. It's supposedly supposed to improve your fuel mileage. So we will find that out. So first thing before we get on the road, uh, we're gonna need to fuel up. And of course, in this bad boy, we only put the 91. That's right. Full fledged, full on, get it to go premium. And we're going to do a little determination. Yeah, I'm going to stop pushing that. So this truck has been getting about 10 miles a gallon. So we'll see like how that does with just premium going straight down the highway, not driving around a bunch in town here and everything like that. I think it'll probably get 11 and then we'll see what the old booster does. Just would like to point out, we are prepared. We've got antifreeze, we've got brake fluid, we got power steering fluid. We've got the belts in case we throw a belt, all sorts of stuff and tools. So unless like just the engine blows up, should be okay. As you can see, full on fuel, oil pressure's good, bolts are good, temperature not too shabby. We're two miles in, let's go. So we're roughly one hour into the trip. Just a quick look at our gauges. Yeah, we're sitting good. Or at least everything has stayed the same. We are still on the first tank of fuel. It's got 182 miles on it. Needless to say, it's uh, pretty good. Well, I'd say we did pretty good. It's 193 miles. I'm going to check the old fuel mileage. And we're going to add this. See if we get better fuel mileage. I'll do the calculation before and after. Okay, let's get that in there. Something like that, but it's got a little more. There's a is uh, old Black Beauty still looking shiny? So far, so good. Uh, trip's been going just fine. 
no issues, so somebody definitely needs to knock on wood. It's, it just, it seems like something bad is probably going to happen. stop number two and funny enough the prime stop in Norfolk Nebraska is almost exactly the distance from Brookings as the place in Brookings is from Fargo well let's do a status check first of all uh, Black Beauty's first taste of some good old thank you that's not loud anyway Black Beauty's first taste of Nebraska fuel driven roughly what 360 miles and uh, seemingly everything is holding up just fine I don't see anything falling apart I don't see any I don't see anything coming loose I don't think yeah who knows what that is on there oil gas water I don't know speckled with something anyway yeah otherwise Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Those, those aren't like on fire, so that's good. All right. All right, 14.1 gallons and 186 miles. That comes out to 13.19. I was going through a lot more uh, hills and into a wind, so whatever that thing was i dumped in there that's supposed to improve fuel efficiency it, it really did but hey i'm sure it ran cleaner and it cleaned out my fuel system and my fuel system's gonna last longer now yeah so on this trip i've planned for a lot of things i planned for belts to break i have planned for running out of gas i have planned for um, oil issues plan for that one thing I didn't plan for uh, severe storms and tornadoes in Nebraska cool so I mean this seems fine but uh, over there maybe maybe not quite as much we're gonna we're going that direction so that's fun so allegedly there's naders over there and there's some naders down there like 30 miles away so let's not get too worked up like it's still a beautiful day over there around kz country and parts there is a tornado warning for southwestern platt county until 3:45. a severe thunderstorm Tornado warning is like 15 miles west of where I'm at, and it's going north. I'm going to be fine. The other one is 20 miles further south, also going to be fine. Uh, hail damage? Hail damage? Are we concerned about hail damage in Black Beauty? I don't think so. Pretty sure Dad already totaled it out. We're good. So it is getting pretty real though, because. I'm like 20 miles from the farm right now. Just 20 miles. This thing has made it that far. I still have to obviously go back to North Dakota, but it's made it this far. So, hell yeah. this would be maybe a lot more uh, climactic I'd have like the drone out shoot me coming into the driveway call ahead for mom and dad hey I'm coming stand out front turns out uh, I'm just making a fucking beeline home 
because there's a severe thunderstorm right now, obviously. But then there is also uh, possibilities of tornado in the area. So that's a lot of fun. But Black Beauty is driving back down the road where its rear end uh, blew up. So uh, ho hopefully this, uh, this truck isn't responsible for bad luck in this area. She's a little wet. Glad I washed it this morning. And Black Beauty is back in Nebraska. Like I said, I was thinking this would be more climactic, but uh, I'm just getting my ass inside at this point. So there's that. So yeah, uh, Black, Black Beauty made it home, Dad. I see that. I uh, was gonna go for something a little more climactic, you know, like drone footage and call you guys to come out front to take a look at it. Um, but probably just good I got in the house. We are right. There. Clean again. Okay. St storm is over and uh, Black Beauty is officially back home. Yeah, there you have it.